Diablo 2 video game Wanna kick a tin can Gonna play Mega Man Mega Man X Video games by Lana Del Rey Fresh off of her hit Coachella jams <sighs> We're gonna be in standard tuning But we're gonna put a capo on the second fret Look, guys, let's level with each other here This is like a piano song Not a guitar song So we're just gonna do the best we can With what is given to us on this guitar Planet of ours Shut up, okay So, first thing you're gonna do is strum an E minor chord Top string is open but To make things easier for all of us What I recommend you do is play the second fret on the second string from the top with your pointer finger and then second fret on the third string from the top with your middle finger. If you really like playing E minor with these two fingers and then you could be like Spider-Man, that's fine. But if you use pointer and middle, it'll just make the next couple little things easier. Great, you're gonna strum this E minor chord one time. Then right away on the next beat, we're gonna strum a G chord. Lift up your middle finger, but keep your pointer finger in the same spot. Put your middle finger on the third fret of the top string, and then with your ring finger and pinky, play the third fret on the bottom two strings. So we just did E minor, and then G. Then you go right back to E minor, and then right back to G. Just one strum on each chord, just E minor, G, E minor, G. Play it with moi. E minor, G. E minor, G. Fantastic. This is the part of the song where there's a bar chord. Now, if you would like to be good at bar chords, you can go to marinmusic.com, link in the description, sign up for my free bar chord course, and then you'll be a master and a commander all at the same time. But if you do not want to be that way, then don't worry, I'm going to show you a couple alternatives to this bar chord if you so desire. So first of all, the regular B minor bar chord we're going to play is your pointer finger is going to play second fret, second string from the top, and it's going to mash down onto the bottom five strings. Then with your middle finger, play the third fret on the second string from the bottom. With your ring finger, play the fourth fret on the third string from the top. And your pinky goes right underneath your ring finger on the fourth fret of the third string from the bottom. Don't play the top string. You can have the tip of your finger mute it, or you can just be really careful not to strum it. That's a B minor. We're going to do one strum of that, and then we're going to switch to a C chord. C chord is ring finger, third fret, second string from the top middle finger, second fret, third string from the top, and pointer finger, first fret, second string from the bottom. Boom! Let's just practice that B minor to C a couple times, then I'll show you the alternate things you can play. One, two, here we go. And B minor, C. Fantastic, let's try it one more time. One, two, three, four. B minor, C. I said fantastic as if you did a good job, but the truth is most of you probably weren't even playing along with me. <sighs> okay, uh, let's play that whole thing and then I'll show you the alternate B minors. Do you think I'm ever actually going to show you or am I just leading you along? The alternate B minor is coming up very soon. One, two, from the very beginning. E minor, G. E minor, G. B minor, C, that was too fast, slow it down. E minor, G. E minor, G, then B minor, C. I'm never going to get that B minor. That's so hard, I can't get to it quick enough. Okay, so here's what you can, there's, I have two things you can do. One is we're going to play a B minor 7, which is not going to sound quite right, but it's still like, it sounds sort of right-ish. Put your pointer finger on the second fret of the second string from the top. Put your middle finger on the second fret of the third string from the bottom. Now, when you play this, you want to make sure not to play the top string. You really just want to play the middle four strings. This is a B minor seven chord. Regular B minor sounds like this. B minor seven sounds like this. See what I mean? So then it's B minor seven, C. It's going to work, but when you play the song, you have Bingy, bangy, bling, bang, 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 b
Okay, so there's one option. The other option is we can just play a D chord. D is middle finger, second fret, bottom string, ring finger, third fret, second string from the bottom, pointer finger, second fret, third string from the bottom. Only play the bottom four strings. So this chord, like, doesn't really sound like a B minor, but it kind of like, it kind of like serves the same function as the B minor. So B minor, and here's the D. You're not gonna like this one. Listen, so we go See, it sounds different, but it works. There, those are my two alternates. From here on out, I'm just doing the B minor bar chord. Okay, so for the intro, we go E minor G, E minor G, B minor C, and then we hold out that C for several beats. We'll count it as when we play through the whole intro. Then the second half of the intro is E minor, G, E minor, G, B minor, C, but then right after you strum C, you strum E minor again. Guys, let's play the whole entire intro all the way through. One, two, three, four, and E minor, G, E minor, G, B minor, C, three, four, E minor, G, E minor, G, B minor, C, E minor, done with the intro. We've done it. Guys, time to move on to the verse of the song, Video Games by Lana Del Rey. I have great news for you. The verse is exactly the same as the intro. You just play the intro dos times in a row. That's Spanish for two. I'm surprised you didn't know that. <sighs> Then at the very end of the verse, after you play that whole intro thing twice, we're just going to do one more B minor C as she sings video game. So the intro, okay, then, then, the, then the verse. Great, fantastic, amazing. We'll play through, maybe not the whole song, but we'll play through like some of it later on. Great, fantastic. This is so helpful. Then we get to the pre-chorus. Pre-chorus goes like this, guys. Remember that D chord that I shot you a minute ago and as an alternate for the B minor? We're just gonna play the D as a regular chord. So really quick review. That was middle finger, second fret, bottom string. Ring finger, third fret, second string from the bottom. Pointer finger, second fret, third string from the bottom. I recommend you have your thumb come up over the top and mute the top string. You're gonna strum this chord four times. One, two, three, Four, then we're gonna go to a D sus chord. You take your pinky and you add it to the third fret of the bottom string. Give me two strums of this D sus, and then one more strum of the regular D, and you hold that out for two beats. Guys, that's the pre chorus. Very short pre chorus. It just goes D, two, three, four, D sus, D. <laughs> And then we go into the chorus. All right, fantastic. Let's go ahead and practice the pre-chorus once, then we'll learn the chorus, then we'll play through some stuff, then we'll get out of here. One, two, pre-chorus, here we go. D, two, three, four, D sus, and D, O. Chorus goes like this. It starts with the C chord. Do you remember the C chord from the verse? I hope you do. It's right there. Look, take a picture, it'll last longer. All right, you play this chord four times. One, two, three, four. Then we go to G. We played G earlier. You remember that one. You're going to play the G three times. One, two, three. And then we need to play an F. There is the bar chord version of F. But let's not even worry about that. Let's play the, the simple, easy peasy, lemon squeezy way to play F. Bottom string is open. Pointer finger is on the first fret of the second string from the bottom. Middle finger is on the second fret of the third string from the bottom. Ring finger is on the third fret of the third string from the top. That's the F chord. Try to mute the top string with your thumb if you can. Beautiful. That's a little bit of a tricky switch going from the F to the G. I got that. Strike it. Reverse it. Willy Wonka. Snozberries. Why? Having fun? You get nothing. Guys, G to F is difficult. Good day, sir. Just one strum of the F. Then you go back to E minor, four strums, one, two, three, four, and then go back to C, four strums, one, two, three, four. Guys, that's the first half of the chorus. Let's play it together. One, two, start with a C, and a C, two, three, four, then G, two, three, F, E minor, two, three, four, C, two, three, four. Nice.
nice and slow, nice and gentle. Second half of the chorus starts off exactly the same. We do four strums of C, then we do three strums of G, one strum of F, everything's exactly the same. Go to the E minor for four strums, that's exactly the same, but then at the end of the chorus, we're gonna go like this. Go to the C and just do one strum and hold it out for four beats. One, two, three, four. Then we're gonna go to a C minor major seven. The piano is sort of playing a C minor major seven. It's sort of playing an E flat, like augmented. This is just the path of least resistance for us. You're gonna love it. Your ring finger is gonna stay on the third fret of the second string from the top. Your pointer finger is gonna play the first fret on the third string from the top. And then the thing about this chord is we wanna make sure not to play the bottom string. We just, we really just wanna play the middle four strings. So do like a gentle, gentle strum. Actually what I do is using my pinky and my ring finger on my strumming hand, I just like grab onto the bottom string. And that way there's no way that I'm gonna accidentally play it. All right, so that ending part was we just did C, two, three, four, C minor major seven. Yes, I'm saying that correctly. It's C minor major seven. It's true. Guys, let's play the whole chorus all the way through. One, two, video games. C, two, three, four, then G, two, three, F, E minor, two, three, four, C, two, three, then stay on the C, two, three, four, then G, two, three, F, E minor, two, three, four, then C, two, here we go to the C minor major seven chord. Then we play, there's an interlude, just like a brief little instrumental interlude in between the chorus and the next verse. All you do is play the first half of the intro. So it's just E minor, G, D e minor, G, a B minor, C, three, four. Then we go into the second verse. Guys, great news. Second verse, exactly the same as the first verse. Then we go into the second pre-chorus. Fantastic, uh, what's another word for news? I have a fantastic news for you. The second pre-chorus is exactly the same as the first pre-chorus. Then we go into the second chorus. Now here's the thing. The second chorus is exactly the same as the first chorus. After that though, we go into the bridge of the song. So the bridge is exactly the same as the introduction to the song. After that though, we go back into the pre-chorus, exactly the same as the other pre-chorus, but then the third and final chorus is exactly the same as the other choruses, but then we have to learn the ending. So the ending is exactly the same as the introduction. So we've done everything. So all we have to do now is practice for just a minute. We're gonna play the intro all the way through. We're gonna play the first verse all the way through. We're gonna play the pre-chorus all the way through, and then we're gonna play the first chorus all the way through, and then we're gonna quit guitar forever. One, two, E minor, here we go. Intro. B minor, C, three, four, and E minor, G, E minor, G, B minor, C, E minor, then the verse. E minor, G, E minor, G, B minor, C, three, four, E minor, G, E minor, G, And the whole thing again. Ah, I almost messed up everything. Everything is fine. We're just great. Whoop. E minor G, E minor G, a B minor C, a E minor. Guys, you're doing a great job. I'm really, really, really impressed. Oh, then that's B minor C. I forgot about that extra part. D pre chorus three, four, then. Sus, D, here's the chorus, C, two, three, four, and a G, two, three, then F, E minor, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, C again, two, three, four, G, two, three, F, E minor, two, 
than the weird sea. Here we go. Whoa. There we go. We're going to play a little game before we go. I'm going to grab something, and then you're going to guess what I grabbed. No, it's not dirty. Uh, having trouble figuring out what I want to grab. Um, all right, all right, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. I'm holding something. I'm holding something right here. Oh, Jesus, jumping Jupiter. I'm going to lift it into the camera. What do you think it is? What do you think I'm holding? It's slowly coming up. Do you have a guess? Do you have a guess? What is it? What is it? Oh, okay, what is that? That's right, it's an entire box of Shadows Over Innistrad, the Magic the Gathering set. Mm -hmm. 